What's up guys, Manny Pedal here. Today's video, I wanted to just show you guys my adventure bike, the bike that I'm going to be using for adventure cycling tours and bike packing trips. Uh, something that I'm gonna be using for an upcoming fall ride that I'm planning on doing before it gets too cold here in the Northeast. Um, we're already dipping into November. We're coming on to the end of October and the temps are just gonna be dropping from here on out. So. I wanted to show you guys the bike that I'm gonna be using, which is my Surly Ogre. This is my adventure bike, the bike that I use for long extended trips, the bike that I use to pack the entire kitchen sink on, the bike that is probably the most reliable bike that I own. Um, hope my other bikes didn't hear that, but uh, <laughs> it's, it's a hell of a bike. Um, now this bike here replaced my old Surly Long Haul Trucker. I'm sure you guys remember that from other videos. But um, this here is my new iteration of uh, my adventure bike with adaptations from other parts from my old Surly Long Haul Trucker that came and is now living on this bike here. Um, for instance, uh, the cockpit. Let's start with the cockpit. This is the uh, Shimano Koyak handlebar. This is the crossbar setup. Uncut bars with um, Shimano PLT stem and full XD derailleur just uh, a rear derailleur. I don't have a front one, so I'm running a whole one by setup. This is the XT Dior derailleur, and um, that's moving a group set that's 32 in the front with 11 to 30, 11 to 44 in the rear. So, oops, my, my bad, 11 to 42 in the rear. And that's also an XT derailleur as well. With XT one by cranks, and it's a solid setup. Very minimal by design and very easy to fix if anything were to go south. I only have to worry about one derailleur. And it's also all mechanical, so nothing to, to complain about if uh, a cable snaps, you know? I can fix that in field. In terms of the brakes, I'm running uh, just regular disc brakes. These are mechanical disc brakes with Avid levers. These are also the levers that were on my Surly Long Haul Trucker and I've put them on this bike and I'm also running mechanical disc brakes. These are the uh, TRP Spire disc brakes and I have a XT 180 millimeter rotor in the front with a 160 millimeter in the rear. And these mechanical disc brakes are awesome. Now, here's the thing. Now, when you're in the wild, <laughs> if you will, doing an adventure cycling tour, you wanna have uh, a bike that you can fix right in field. You need to learn how to fix your bike too. That's super important. Um, hydraulic brakes, you wanna pretty much, I mean, they're great. I run them on my gravel bike, but if you're doing a long extended tour, having mechanical disc brakes is the way to go because you just have cables you can swap out. If anything were to go south, you can just fix the bike by just swapping the cable out yourself and you're back on the road. With a hydraulic system, you'll have to bleed the brakes. It's just a whole big, big job, you know? So I know for sure I wouldn't want to do that, although I will be able to. Um, it just sucks to carry all those parts when you can just carry uh, a couple of cables with you, wrap them up, throw them in your bag, and you're good to go. Um, Thompson Masterpiece seat post, that came from my old Surly Long Haul Trucker as well. And let's talk about the wheels. These are 27 and a half WTB KOM Tough rims. Um, sitting them on, they're sitting on Ranger 3.0 tires. They are three inch tires. And these wheels are awesome. You definitely do not need a su uh, front suspension fork with this bike. <laughs> with these wheels, they're so, so like forgiving on the road and supple that like it pretty much feels like you have a full suspension bike. Especially depending on like how much PSI you run in these things. These are sick. I love them. I love this bike. The wheels are awesome. You know, if you have one bike that can take you all over the world, this would be it right here. The Surly Ogre. It's an extra large frame. Sometimes the frames can feel like a limousine that I'm driving, but honestly, I love it. No, no complaints. And, um, you know, I wouldn't trade it up for any other bike. You know, I have other bikes as well, but if I'm going on a long trip, this will be it, you know. My dream is to, uh, to ride across the salt flats in Bolivia. I've been planning that trip out. For years now since I started bicycle touring and um, I'm gonna make that happen one day and I'm gonna be taking this bike with me on that trip <laughs> so I wanted to show you guys um, what I pack onto these bikes with inside my bag for my bike packing setups this is mainly uh, for a weekend trip right now um, and it's a little bit cold out here so 
I want to just show you guys what I bring. I have some stuff laid out just to see like I have all my gear streamlined. And as you can see, we'll start from top to bottom. Right now, we're starting with the most important thing, which is the helmet. That's my Giro Montero MIPS helmet. You want to make sure you have a helmet with you. Protect that crane and you should be good to go. Protect that crane, guys. Uh, water. In terms of the water system, I'm going to be using a bladder, which I don't have here. But I also have this under the bike in any event. Um, I need some more water. This is a 64 ounce clean canteen and I'll be mounting it into this cage, which will be underneath the bike. So that'll be sitting up in here like so. And it'll be mounted to the down tube, underneath the down tube. First aid kit, super important. Always make sure you have that, that's an essential. Extra tube and anything, any of event your tube setup goes south. I got extra brake cable. I got a few of those actually, and derailleur cable as well. Gloves for the cold weather temps. I have a tent here. This is a three season tent. I probably won't be bringing this. This is a bit big. It's a two person tent. So that's a little bit large for me. Uh, I, it actually might be a three person tent. Um, that's the one that my girlfriend and I use when we go camping. But um, <laughs> I probably need to go a little bit smaller. Uh, this is my sleeping bag that's inside here. This compresses down way more. So that's just like for now. This is also another sleeping bag. This is a synthetic sleeping bag and this is a goose sleeping bag with uh, goose feathers and everything. So this one's gonna compress way better and it's also much warmer. This is uh, the Rave. The Rave by Nemo Sports, Nemo Equipment. And uh, it's a really good sleeping bag. It's like 30 degrees Fahrenheit. That's what it's rated for. Probably not the best bag for winter, but this will do for fall, especially if you lay it up. And this is my sleeping pad. This is the Thermarest Neo X Lite. Super, super good pad. I also have like a foam pad too that I sleep on, depending on um, the situation. These punctures can be really hard to, to fix, but it'll still do the job. In terms of what I pack the stuff in, this is all Relevate Designs stuff. I've had this stuff for years. This is the Viscacha seat bag. I put, usually my uh, tube goes into the rear end first. I learned that trick from a friend of mine. <laughs> so that the bag keeps its, its shape. And then from there I pack everything in afterwards, such as my sleep system. So my sleeping bag would go in directly after that. And after that, I'll put like clothes, maybe some food at the end. So the heaviest stuff and then lighter stuff as we move on to the, the top and close it up. This is my Tango bag. This is the Revelate Designs. This is a medium sized one. I put everything in here in terms of like tools, a floor pump as well. This is my Lazine floor pump. You've probably seen a review on, there, on this one as well as a gauge. This is a sweet pump as well. I really like this one. And it has a little kick out stand so that you could pump your air and just put your foot on it to hold it up. So it keeps it nice and sturdy. And it's a double sided bag. And on the other side, I have like other essentials that I would put in here as well, like tubeless tire sealant from stands, no tubes. I'll carry a few of those. I got some chain links up in here as well with the chain breaker. So yeah, all the essentials are up in here. And I'll be putting a lot more stuff in here as well. It's just, just like to show you guys the basics of packing. These are two water bottle holders that I put stuff in. I can also, it's a feed bag from Revelate Designs. I also put my uh, snacks and stuff up in here. This is the gas tank from Revelate Designs that I also use. You can see that white camel matches up with the seat, the Scotcha bag. I've had these things for years. I've ridden. Uh, Columbia with this. I've done some other trips with this. Um, Valle Cadera in New, New Mexico. I've done some localized tours with this as well. And all this gear is super reliable. So uh, this is the Revelate Designs handlebar bag. This is a, a large size one. And this is uh, where I would keep my tent. The tent pretty much would like, I'll take the state, uh, st the whole entire uh, tent poles out and I'll put that in there and then I'll just stuff the tent in here with 
the sleeping pad. So these two will be sitting in here pretty much and I'll roll each side up and that'll be in the front of the bike. And what else here? That's pretty much it right there with the gear. And I have a trusty flashlight. Wanna make sure you always have one of these on deck. Multi-tool as well. Multi-tool I have in another bag. And yeah, this is like a basic setup here. You know, what I like to do is always lay my gear out in a, in a wide spaced area to make sure I have everything that I need before I do any kind of extended trip. You wanna make sure you have what you're doing, you have everything, you don't leave anything behind. Because uh, once you start doing that, you'll, you'll start to forget things. And also, when you lay your gear out, I always recommend to just cut everything in half. I don't have any clothes out here yet. I just have all the gear that the clothes will be laying in. So this is just what's gonna be packed on the bike. And that is the bike that I'll be using to pack it all on. I'm sure you've also seen before setups with my gravel bike and even my road bike, but this is the bike that's gonna be able to take you all over. So if you wanna travel the world, if you wanna go far and go extended and pretty much live on your bike, if you will, <laughs> this bike is the bike that you wanna do that with. Something that has a steel frame, something that's gonna be super reliable. And uh, yeah, that should be good to go. So guys, listen, if you have any questions, leave your comments below in the video. Uh, would love for you guys to also subscribe to my channel and share this video with a friend who might need help with something like this because I know this stuff isn't easy and I've been doing this uh, for quite some time and I myself am still am a student in all this, you know, and I have a lot to learn. So if there's anything that I left out, please drop a comment below and just leave it. Um, again, I'm still like organizing gear, but I just wanted to just do a quick video to share with you guys what I use and the bike that I use. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.